Now, you still tell me, what kind of treatments have you had? Since I, I know you're, you're a professor yourself, I'm sure you've looked into it. Tell me about your treatments, what you've had uh, for this, for the carcinoid syndrome. Well, I've had the, uh, I've had the monthly injections. Of... That's octreotide, that's somatostatin analog? Yes, okay. right. I've had those. I continue to use the uh, sub-Q injections of octreotide, short-acting occasionally for breakthrough fleshing. Okay. Uh, I take uh, a drug called Creon to help with yeah. digestion. Like a pancreatic enzyme, it's yeah. like a pancreatic Pan enzyme, okay. Exactly, and uh, most recently I began to take a drug called Zermelo or Teletristat. Uh, okay, I can't say that on the team, but I can probably say Zermelo, so sorry. Zermelo. Okay, yep. and what, did, what was that drug for? That drug is to control the diarrhea. And did your octreotide control the diarrhea? Your the octreotide helped, but it did not control the diarrhea adequately. And how, when did you start taking this new drug? I started taking it this past March, and is this very new... soon after it was approved by the FDA. And what was it approved for, uh, Dr. Moores? What does this drug do? It, it was FDA approved for people with inadequately controlled diarrhea uh, when people had previously had somatostatin analogs. Um, the way the drug works is actually very interesting because uh, we can separate what it does from what the somatostatin analogs do, and they're given together for a good reason. So somatostatin analogs bind to receptors on neuroendocrine tumors. On the surface? On the surface. Okay. So they, they're, they're delivered uh, as often a depot or a form that can be slowly released. So it gets into the bloodstream, circulates throughout the body, and binds to the outside of the neuroendocrine cell and stops it from secreting serotonin, for example. And that works fine in many people for a long period of time. Uh, different people will have different experiences. Some people will be controlled for much of the month on a somatostatin analog, and then right before they're due, they'll get a lot more symptoms. Some people are just moderately controlled throughout the period of time. Some people are controlled initially, and then after months or years, their symptoms will become worse. Traditionally, our options were basically increase the dose of the somatostatin analog, use uh, short acting when people had more severe episodes, uh, lots and lots of adjunctive medications. Uh, like imodium, you're saying, antidiarrheals, imodium, antidiarrheals, you know, large quantities of those, and uh, sometimes diet modification. But eventually, that's just not enough, and the diarrhea becomes uncontrollable despite having been on the somatostatin analogs. Now, uh, telotrostat, or Zermelo is the, is the uh, trade name for it, uh, was designed to interfere with the enzyme, tryptophan hydroxylase, or TPH, people call it, the enzyme that converts the building block, tryptophan, through a series of steps into serotonin. And serotonin is the one, is the hormone which is being secreted, Quite which causes a lot of the all syndromes. The oh, that's right, the symptoms, particularly the diarrhea, is very tightly linked to the serotonin production. So if you can stop the production of the serotonin from the inside of the cell now, there's less serotonin to even be released. Uh, it was tested in people who were already taking somatostatin analogs, and that's why we give them together. You give them both together? Correct. Okay, and that's helped with, Larry, has that helped with your diarrhea? It's been remarkable. So have you just thrown away that app that you had, about, like that map that you had with all the... <laughs> I don't use it anymore. You don't use it anymore? I still carry the bag, but, uh, I, don't, I, but I don't use it anymore. I don't. Uh, it's been, it really has been a game changer for me. Uh, from the initial dosage, uh, it has been remarkable. I almost never have an episode of diarrhea now. Uh, and... Uh, but regular bowel movements, you have regular yep. bowel movements? That's yep. Okay. yep. But I've but gone that's back the, to on... regular bowel movements, you know, once a day, something like that, uh, no unexpected diarrhea, no nothing. Uh, and that's, it's, uh, it's made a tremendous difference I'm glad in the way that, that, can... uh, that, I, that I live. Have you started uh, uh, teaching in more universities after that? Uh, actually, <laughs> I have. <laughs> So you can go to different universities, okay, yeah. more universities. Do you take any midnight lectures now? Uh, 
I, I sometimes I get home well after midnight. Well after midnight. Uh, but uh, no, no more midnight lectures. No more midnight lectures. That's right. You but know, one one thing I, I want to point out is you you definitely have had a remarkable uh, effect from it. As I mentioned earlier, the diarrhea can be for different causes in people that have neuroendocrine tumors. The predominant cause would be carcinoid syndrome. But sometimes people have had extensive surgery on their bowel and they have what's called short gut syndrome. Uh, food transits very rapidly through their and intestines. And you can absorb the water in so it just kind of, you can get diarrhea. That's right, you can't absorb uh, enough of, uh, of, the, of the liquid and you have loose stool. There are people who have what's called bacterial overgrowth, areas of the bowel that just don't move effectively. Bacteria grow in those areas and basically ferment the food into something that can lead to, to diarrhea. Sometimes the somatostatin analogs can cause fat malabsorption and that can cause diarrhea. That's, that's what, what the, you may need the creons for. That's what the creons, for that, the creons you, for. you have to break down the fat. All right, so it's important to set expectations that there are many different causes. We're going to try to tackle one of the main causes. For some people, that's all they need. In other people, they still do need some of the other uh, components, but they're overall better. Uh, the other thing that's uh, important for people to realize is that um, it doesn't necessarily work instantaneously. I, I think you actually had significant benefit right away. But uh, the way the studies were done, uh, people were followed out to at least 12 weeks and there was continuing benefit. So people that started and uh, don't immediately notice traumatic benefits should be encouraged to continue to take it because they may see those benefits over time. So when did the majority see the benefit? Like, you know, where was the... Like where was the curves, you know, when, when we see these studies, there are all these curves, so when it, was it all over the place? You know, it, it's interesting that the, the benefits start early, but the benefits become uh, greater and greater and greater out to the 12-week the mark is where the study, uh, you know, was intended to look at the benefit between the people taking the Zermelo telotrostat and the people who weren't. Uh, but what we see is uh, every day, every week along that path, there are more people that are having fewer diarrheal stools. What about other side effects like flushing? What, how can you control the flushing? What, is the, what are the different ways to control the flushing? Uh, th this is a, a challenge because we don't think the flushing is driven by serotonin in most cases. Uh, there are other hormones, uh, substance P, tachykinins, bradykinins that may be the cause of it. And while the somatostatin analogs reduce the secretion of those as well, tryptophan hydroxylase targeting with Zermelo only deals with serotonin. So we continue uh, to need to use, as in your case, uh, octreotide to control those. And obviously there's a lot of research going on in the field trying to identify uh, why the flushing occurs and other, other ways of controlling it. I, I would point out that the uh, Zermelo pivotal trial that led to its approval did not have that many people with significant flushing on it. So we actually don't know the answer to what impact it's going to have, but we suspect we may need other therapies for that in the future.